Alright guys, we're going to do the unboxing of the Steiner Ocean One Black Ceramic Bezel Watch. Now I've had this watch for almost a year and it's been one of my favorite watches. I just absolutely love it. I didn't think I would like it that much, but honestly, it's a good robust watch and it served its purpose very well. You can see it has a Swiss ETA 2824-2 movement and I purchased it on April 2016, so I have not had it that long. Now getting into the box here. You can see the watch has a gorgeous ceramic bezel, plays with the light really well. We have a nice smooth sweep with this movement, it's 28,000 beats per hour, so it's not going to look very jaggedy, it's going to move nice and smooth for you. Anti-reflective coat on the sapphire glass, looks really gorgeous. Looking at the side of the watch, you have a stamped crown, and it's also a screw down crown as well, windable, hackable. The bezel itself is very tight and stiff, and I personally like that. If you sleep with this watch on and you set it to a certain position, it's not going to move in the night. Later, I'll show a comparison to my Seiko SKX009. It's a much looser bezel, and sometimes when I sleep with that watch, it does move around. I'll give you a sound comparison as well. Not very much play at all in the movement, if any, probably none. You have screw down links, very good clasp on this thing, solid links, solid end links all around. Very excellent piece for the money for sure, it definitely felt like I got my values worth out of this thing. And the resale was extremely good too, so far it's almost selling for what I paid for it over almost a year ago. There's very good action on this watch, good animation on the date. Let me just give you guys a little bit more example of the light reflection. Let's get a comparison of the SKX009. You can see how much more looser it is and easier it would be to move around on its own. We could hear the sound as well. Alright, now let's see the Steinhardt Ocean 1. And you can just hear how much more solid the clicking is on that. You can get a sense of how much more stiff it is. This thing's not moving unless you want to move it yourself. Now there's another shot of the clasp, just so you can see the quality. And the engraving on the back with the seahorse is excellent. Very well done. They've spared no expense. You're getting a high quality piece for sure. I'll let you guys see what it looks like on the wrist. Last thing I'm going to do is light up the loom to give you guys an idea of that. Now it's not as good as say a Seiko, but it still looks pretty damn good. So overall, if you guys are interested in purchasing this watch, I definitely recommend it. It's absolutely satisfied my needs for when I wanted the watch. It was a stepping stone to a Rolex for me. And now that I am getting a Rolex, I'm ready to part with this one. I just want a little bit more variety. I have a feeling I'll have seller's remorse and repurchase it. <laughs> That's probably why I'm a little bit scared in making this video. It's my way of letting it go and still having a piece of it in video form. So we'll see. I, I wore this watch more than any other one the last year. I don't know why. I just really liked it. It was very comfortable. It felt robust and I just absolutely loved it. I probably, either way, will purchase more Steinhardt watches because they're made with pure quality. But anyways, that's my Steinhardt review. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.